If you have Raftalia, you have Fatoria, but you struggle to go first. I think that this team... This team works. This team works. Alright, I've been going through the list of the old characters from Shield Hero that got buffed and trying them out. And out of the three characters... Kizuna never got buffed, so three. Of the old characters that got buffed, unfortunately, this one is the one I have the least uh, trust, per se. Raftalia, although they all got, you know, stat buffs, which is a big deal. My Raftalia actually... Uh, I think I should roll, but I don't, I don't know if it's even worse. Uh, if, sorry, even worth uh, wasting anvils on this, but I have her with a... Uh, some crit chance and some crit damage because of her triple crit chance card. Now she actually has pretty good crit chance. She had atrocious crit chance to the point where her card, which is not... Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Triple crit chance was sometimes missing crits. <laughs> With a triple crit chance card, that is abysmal. But, you know, yeah, I think I'll just keep it as it is right now. In any case, they got stab buffs, but... Out of the three old characters, Raftalia got the worst buff. It is still a good buff. A buff is a buff, but it is the least significant, I feel like. Instead of gaining anything for her passive, all that they did was change the condition of her damage reduction from being all, you know, all allies being the same attribute. She just, she just gives everyone 30% damage reduction. No, there's no condition anymore. Which is good, like, that should have been one of the changes, but they should have added something to the passive as well. Just changing that condition makes her... yucky. But her relic is still... hopefully gonna do something. We're bringing this team here, because Fittoria will hopefully carry us. And we got uh, Albedo for the, the stance, which will increase damage by 40%. I'm just hoping for the best here. And because our team is full blue, her passive would have worked anyways, so the change makes no difference for us. It really is sad. <laughs> okay, this is a bot, fortunately, because going against an R for a second of my team is, uh, I think, a guaranteed loss. So, how about this, right? I, I want to test Reftalia, so I'm going to do this. Can she kill? I'm going to kill Bond. I'm concerned it won't kill, so I'm good. <laughs> I want to do this card because it guarantees crits, so I'm just gonna go for it. How much is she doing? Hmm. 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 <laughs> That's uh. Not great. That's with the damage increase from the stance as well. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. The thing is that whenever we used to use Raftalia, right? For one, it would be. Oh, I didn't get the... Uh, I didn't get the thing for her. Damn. Because it was only two attacks, like two hits, right? Oh my god. She still did a lot. If I had the, the buff for her, we would have wiped. Because of uh, Albedo's Dacrolyr stab buff, plus 40% damage increase from uh, Reftalia's re relic. Now we have it, so if we don't die... Ouchie. Oh, but he lowered my, uh, my AoE damage, huh? And we don't have a stance for the damage increase. Mmm... Well, we do what we can, right? Bond, please die. Bond didn't die. Wow, he must have like 1 HP. Bond dying would have made such a big difference. No! 116, huh? Mmm. <laughs> 
that, that's uh yeah yeah Raph Talia again she didn't get a real buff like nothing was added to her passive just changed what I was saying was uh, we used to run her dude Bon is like legit the worst person for me to face not, not Bon, uh, Arthur we used to run her with both Gil Thunder and Nanashi so it would be an insane defense increase but at this day and age that's just not possible right <laughs> it's just not really feasible they didn't kill mm. would have been really good if that killed but Albeda must have an insane amount of damage reduction. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll say that. Between Raftalia's passive. <laughs> Not that it matters, you know, like <laughs> but she does. Okay. That attack didn't look very impressive. We don't have the defense buff from the Nashi either on her. So this is probably not gonna look all the best. <sighs> Victoria is just insane though. They didn't kill? Dude, I was expecting to at least kill there. Wow. I might, just for this video, I might have to do what I just said and run her on a blue Gil Thunder and the Nashi team. Just to have like a moment in the video where she does damage. But I warn you, it, it's bad. Like you you don't actually want to run that. It's just I'm gonna do it for the video and I might make her look impressive, but if you do it, it you're gonna lose every every game. <laughs> like in true honesty, right? Hmm. I'll have to remove Victoria. That's what's worse. Yeah, she at least can carry me. Can Raftalia carry herself? I seriously doubt it. <laughs> I, ser I have serious doubts that that's, uh, that's possible. Yeah, I guess Arthur, Arthur is really the most run team in the game right now, so there's no avoiding it. But yeah, this team <laughs> is uh, entirely relying on Raftalia's shoulders here. So, let's hope for the best. <sighs> huh? Okay. This guy, which is a real player, didn't get Arthur his whole passive. Interesting. I won't double attack because I don't want to get my Raftali disabled, but... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Can I face a different team? Because I think at least Raftali could look usable. Come on. Okay, this guy has quite the high CC. So hopefully... Hopefully we can do something against them. I put on dodge food to... Sorry, not dodge food. I put on uh, defense food. To help out Reftalia even more. Listen, if this doesn't work, I give up. And I, I guess the only angle she could have some success in really is... You know... We're gonna lose the defense, aren't we? The damage increase for Fatoria. Like, that's really the only way I can see her ever being considered successful. Her CC is bad, because you have to use full defense as well. Yeah, and... Nanashi, Gil Thunder, damage increase from Relic, and... And... Defense food. 
and we couldn't kill a red unit. That's uh... It's a lot of damage reduction though. We do have a lot of damage reduction. Tanking these hits while encroached is very impressive. But damage reduction doesn't win you games. Killing the enemy wins you games. Uh, not much I can do here. It would be nice to kill a Sterl, but that's just not gonna happen, is it? Yeah. I didn't go to him head on with Raftalia because I knew he would have Tarmia Link, so it would be impossible to kill. Maybe I should have. To be honest, I thought I would have done, done enough damage anyways. And we're back to square one with Fitori, but with a new angle, so. I decided to instead think of Raftalia as 40% damage increase. She's nothing more than 40% damage increase for my Fatoria, so... I am using a different card set, just max attack, and I'm using attack food. And so my Fatoria should be hitting quite hard. Should kill Melee. Wow. Really? Damn. Well, Reftalia, there's a reason why no one's using you. 40% damage increases and very real. I mean, we could actually... She can survive this, right? Yeah, that kills a Steros, right? Mmm. Now the damage reduction is looking a lot more favorable. I highly doubt we would have survived without the damage reduction. So this should kill. And then she should kill the other one. Mmm. Again, that's damage reduction that would have happened without the buff, right? <laughs> so, the buff had nothing to do with what just happened. But, it helped. And we're going second, right? This is the goal second team. The guy had quite a lot to see. How much did he have? 415k. Nothing just cough at. Oh, this might be a little more troublesome. Let's see. Yeah, the Fatoria team. Can we tank the first turn, is the question. Because we have the damage reduction. And we have the uh, crit defense. Okay, we're, ta we're tanking this. We're tanking this. No problem. But can we kill Fatoria? Because if we don't, we just lose. If we don't, just lose. Oh yeah, we kill. Oh, she has Tarmia Link? Okay. I am quite unsure that I would have killed without the level 2 AoE. But Tarmia Link on Fatoria is quite unusual, I would say, right? Now, my Albedo hits very hard, because we have attack food, and we have uh, the card set with more attack, right? And my Albedo is attack gear. She has attack crit defense. That's how I built her when she first came out. She's not dying to this. All the damage reduction stuff, can't even see the damage numbers, but that's a kill. Oh wow, we got uh, quite the nice dub here. 
I mean, this team comp... You can still say, like, Fatoria is carrying, but it's working because of the damage reduction plus damage increase. Okay, this is a real player. It's going second. It's not. Whatever. I like this comp. Would I say it's meta? No, I think there's a lot of break. I think winning against an Arthur with this team is an unreasonable task. It's unlikely. But I think it can win against any other team. I think so. The damage from Albedo is quite unexpected to the enemy as well. Because of the attack food and the the card set. No one expects Albedo's level 1 counter straight at heart. And then we have the damage increase from Raftalia. No one expects Albedo to hit hard. Yeah, we ended in a good note for Raftalia. Maybe it's worth giving it a try if you want. If you have Raftalia, you have Fatoria, but you struggle to go first. I think that this team... This team works. This team works. <laughs>